This is your Storm Team 27 forecast. Hey, thanks for joining us back in the Weather Center. Now, tomorrow we are expecting a few rounds of showers and storms. Not only that, we expect these storms for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday. So this whole week, make sure you have your Storm Team 27 weather app handy. Now, this is going to change, especially as we get into the later part of the week. A lot of rain that these models are having to deal with. So things will change here within the next 24 hours and as we go throughout the work week. So we'll have you give you the latest on up to date information via your app or WKBN.com. Now, currently, though, we do no temperature is sticking around the mid to low 60s currently, but tonight dipping back down into the 50s, not as far down as we went last night. We see dew points still around 53 at the airport, 56 in Austin Town. We've been talking about dew points. It measures the moisture in the atmosphere, so the higher the dew point, it actually is more sticky outside. But the cool part about it is this is the bottom line. Our temperatures can't drop below our dew point. So, Columbiana, if your dew point right now is 58 degrees, that will be your low for tonight's temperature. But the comfort tracker, unfortunately, we try tracking dew points to increase. Now, for today, we were at the pleasant mark, but tomorrow we are going to see those dew points begin to rise, bringing us near sticky. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, we are going back up to muggy. Now, dew points will back, be back into the low 70s. And what that means, it's going to have the right ingredients for thunderstorms start to develop. Now, thunderstorms like a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, and that's exactly what we're going to see over the next couple of days. But for right now, all we're seeing is a few clouds begin to push into the area. Now you can notice the cloud cover all the way from Mansfield and Cleveland now beginning to push over the valley. Now tonight we are expecting dry, dry conditions even into the overnight hours. After that though, we are seeing the rain anywhere from Wisconsin out to Michigan. Now this batch of rain will begin to push southward via a cold front and into our area. Now tomorrow morning we are expecting dry conditions, but tomorrow afternoon that's when we could see some thunderstorms. Now the bulk of the severe weather threat is going to be into Indiana, Illinois, also just the western parts of Ohio. But if you notice the green, that's a marginal risk for severe weather. That's just on a scale one out of five, which means we could potentially see just an isolated strong to severe storm tomorrow afternoon, so make sure you keep an eye on radar, especially as we go throughout the evening hours as well. We'll time it all out in future tracker for you. Right now we are seeing temperatures dip into the low 60s and eventually the 50s. Now we're only expected to get into the upper 50s for tonight low, but the Again, the heat's going to be back into the forecast tomorrow. We're seeing 80s and upper 70s across the board and showers and storms beginning to push in. Now, the first line of showers will come in into the early afternoon, but notice how if you've been watching from 6 to now at 11, the timing of that front and line of storms has been pushing later and later. We're looking at 1 to 3 o'clock into the afternoon, and then we see it pass through the valley around 4 to 5. Also, right behind it, there is a chance for some isolated showers and storms going throughout the overnight hours, even into Tuesday morning. We are expecting those showers and storms to stick around for most of the work week, unfortunately. Before we get there, though, we're looking at a low tonight. We talked about just about 58 degrees, partly cloudy skies, and then tomorrow, giving it overall a 40% chance of isolated showers and storms. But that will increase as we go throughout the afternoon into the evening hours. Now, temperature-wise, we're staying pretty steady for our high temperatures, just in the low to mid-80s. But after that, we're expecting showers and storms Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday. But they will begin to decrease as we head into the early part of the weekend. Partly sunny skies for next Saturday.